Hey, this is Paul, the friendly reviewer with the Gizmo Gadget by LG. So before we begin, please check out the description below for any updates since I post the video and also any links that I talk about in the video. Now this review is a little bit lengthy, so I'm going to jump straight to my opinion first and then get into the details. So let's get into the review. We've had three of them for a little over a year now. We thought they'd be very handy in general, but we held off purchasing them until we had a trip planned to Disney World. With three kids and a large group, we thought it would be nice to be able to use the device to contact them or find them if we got separated. It's definitely not a safety device, but it would give us a little bit more peace of mind. We are in the United States and get them through Verizon. The product price is a little steep, but the monthly wireless cost isn't too bad. If you're fine with the price, we would recommend getting them as long as you're aware of their limitations first. So watch the rest of the video to learn more about these features if you don't know about them. This is the Gizmo Gadget by LG. It's a watch phone and is geared towards kids. As I said previously, it's not a safety device. The reason it's not a safety device is that it can be taken off or turned off. Not being able to turn on the watch from the app is one of the complaints that you'll often see about these. As far as the watch goes, the center portion is the same for all the Gizmo gadgets. They have held up quite well after over a year of use. The wristband comes in red or blue, but you can also buy separate wristbands in a bunch of other colors. The wristband is more than just a wristband, it has part of the antenna in it, as you can see part of the connector there. Since it is built for kids, it is limited. They can make and receive phone calls from 10 contacts that you program on the watch. This is typically fine, but we do sometimes change the numbers if we're going to go on a trip with a group of people. The phone numbers are pretty simple to change using the Gizmo Hub app. The Gizmo Hub app allows for one primary user, and that primary user can give caregiver privileges to other users of the app. If you don't have caregiver privileges, the only thing you can do is call and receive calls from the Gizmo Gadget if you're programmed in the Gizmo Gadget. There's a large number of emojis that can be sent back and forth between the watch and the app as well. The watch comes preloaded with nine quick text messages that your kids can use. You can customize them in the app as well. One note here is that you don't receive the text messages through your normal text message app. It's received through the Gizmo Hub app. If your kids can't read or there isn't a message with what they want to say, they can always send a voice recording up to 20 seconds long. For fun, they can also change their voice with the options of normal, robot, helium, squirrel, and Darth Vader. Other than communicating and having fun changing their voice, there are a few other activities that the kids can do with the Gizmo Gadget as well. They can play a jumping game, and they can track their steps. You can also select to track their activity with the app, choose a step goal, and get notifications. The watch also comes with a compass, a timer, and a stopwatch that the kids can use. You can create a to-do list as well that is set up in the app. The fun sound screen is another thing that the kids can play with. It'll play a random sound each time they touch it. The other big feature that people get this for is the location finding service. The phone's location can be found using the app. This is very useful, but it's not like the real-time tracking feature that you see in the movies. It will take between 30 seconds and a few minutes to get the phone's position, but it is very useful and we've used it many times. Just be prepared that it's not going to be some moving dot on the screen that you're going to be following around trying to find your kids. It's also limited to how accurate GPS and cell phone triangulation can work, so it's not going to pinpoint it down to the nearest foot for you. If your kid has a normal schedule, you can set it up to check in and notify you when they are at certain locations as well. The kid can also swipe up to check in at locations from the main screen on the watch. There are a lot of settings and customizations on the watch, and I'll go through them very quickly. You can adjust the volume. There are eight selectable ringtones. There are six fun sound themes to choose from. You can adjust the brightness, 
The screen timeout can be changed between 15 seconds to 5 minutes. The theme can be changed from basic to Tron to space to underwater and princess. There are seven watch faces from analog to digital to choose from. And there are also accessibility options such as readout and knock on. Overall, these watches aren't perfect, but they are useful. If you want to see some nice tutorials on the app, check out the link in the description below to the Verizon site. One last note on the battery. It is very dependent on how much they use them. They will last more than a day if they aren't being used, but they'll only last a couple of hours if the kids are continually playing with them, especially with some of the different features that they can use. So just be aware of that. This has been Paul, the friendly reviewer with the Gizmo Gadget by LG. Thank you for watching.